Hey everyone. In the last couple of days, I've been posting a couple of videos uh, just in relation to the issue of competency. So the first video is about RTOs and, and potentially the, the questionable training and assessment uh, activities that they're doing when they're issuing competence, particularly for high risk work, such as uh, confined space work at heights, that sort of thing. Um, and then yesterday was certainly about the employer's perspective. So employers that are, that are uh, chasing a dollar, so dollar value uh, for training, so looking for cheap training because it fits in with budget requirements or, or time constraints and that sort of stuff, uh, as opposed to training people properly when they understand there's high risk activities. But I think there's a third party that sits in all of this as well, and that's the employees. Um, the employees are the ones that, that should be jumping up and down the most because it's actually their safety that's potentially been compromised. Um, you know, Confined space, I think, is a great example. You see so many discussions uh, you know, on confined spaces where people uh, don't understand the hazards and, and, and how to control them. Uh, and I can't help but wonder, is that because they're getting substandard training? Um, <coughs> pardon? Or, or are people just not taking it seriously? Uh, they just you know, see training as a day out of the office or day out of the workplace and don't really care about it. Uh, and that really concerns me. So. You know, there's definitely questions around RTOs. There's questions around employers. Just as much, there's questions around employees. Um, if you don't think you're being trained properly or don't understand how to do something, you've got to speak up. You've got to say something um, before something goes wrong. Um, I would hate to be in a workplace situation where I knew something was substandard uh, and did nothing about it or didn't speak up about it. And then there was an incident that resulted in someone being injured or, or worst case, you know, someone being killed in the workplace. Um, that'd just be mortifying and I, I just don't comprehend the mentality. Um, the previous two videos have generated a lot of conversation and a lot of uh, comments and so forth. You know, and it's been really good to see that. And I think we need to keep these conversations happening. Um, you know, again, I, I welcome your thoughts on this because, yeah, I think all three parties have a lot to play in this and there's a lot more we could be doing in the workplace to ensure people's safety. Um, as always, you know, feel free to comment below, share the videos and uh, yeah, let's talk more. Thanks for your time.